Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome to a new series you ever look at a level and be like if this was changing and then maybe this other thing this level would be an amazing level i know i've thought that one or two times and so i want to introduce you guys to the enhancing series with this series it's my job to figure out what i believe would make a level better this isn't just a series where i balance levels really what i gotta analyze what i think would be best for the level would it be a better level if it was easier i mean that really just goes without saying from pretty much all the top 10 do i I specifically think making this easier would make it better you know what i mean balancing it in a, in a specific way maybe maybe just getting rid of some bullshit click I, you know stuff like that want to make this an enjoy an enjoyable experience and so for the first episode i think it'd be fitting if we enhance slaughterhouse I already think the gameplay is very fun. Like, the wave's very fun. I love the waves. There's some improvement to be done, though, with some of the clicks, obviously. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Mainly here, I'm going to be changing up the pre-drop. So let's, let's just get into this. At the end of this, I'm going to be verifying it, too. That should also help. You know, I got to play it. So let's let's make a copy of this real fast. Slaughterhouse Enhance. Let's just get this out of the way right now. This pre-drop needs to be nerfed, all right? Mainly, I want to focus on this gray part here. Jesus, this is just, it's terrible. Let me make this part a little bit better. You know what I'm going to do? Check out these hitboxes. I don't know how I feel about these hitboxes. The hitbox in general of this object right here are we kidding me all right here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go like this replace it with that i think yeah yeah yeah. that's good that's good that's good it, it, it looks weird like it looks like i shouldn't be dying to this thing but you just do so i thought that was a little thing you know you could fix up all right now let's move on to the real thing that was just a small little thing i wanted to fix let's move on to the real you know what i mean i'm gonna move this dash rope down i feel like that's actually a good one if you guys saw in my completion video i actually clicked this dash rope late even though you can buffer it so i can get the camera to move down quicker to this area so i can see this click you do have very little time to react to it so i want the camera to be moved down a bit more so it's better i might not even have to nerf this if i do that i'll just make the guy go down quicker yeah just like this that should work all right add that to the change log yeah all right well something i'm definitely gonna be nerfing oh my god this click is so bad abyss jump that you can just like fall into this block oh i just realized i'm not using my optimized copy optimizing this is also an enhancement so maybe i'm gonna hop on that actually sh optimize all right this gap looks further than this gap so let's just even out the gaps i guess right all right so let's move it in like one like, I don't want to just do baby nerfs. We're going to nerf it. We'll move it back one more. There you go. Oh, now we're talking. And I guess I do want to make it free. Yeah, fuck that click. The next clicks are fine. They get really consistent. Although in my version, you can like hold. You can't really do it here. I don't know what I did to allow you to hold. Moving on. We're pretty much at the drop now. All right, see how it goes like completely black here? I'm not a fan, to be honest, because it makes the click like, I mean, you can't see it. It's a, it's a thing. Eight goes to complete. Let, let's make eight go to 0.9 opacity instead of one. How about that? Yeah, I like that a little bit better. I think you guys would agree that that's better. Now we're at the drop. So now in my doggy slaughterhouse version, that's like nerfed, you know what I mean? See how there's like a little block here that helps with like landing on this structure. In my version, it extends like the whole way. And I feel like that's a bit, bit goofy looking back. Like I might just nerf this, like just move this down to be honest. It's more natural. Here, what nerf? What do you mean nerf? Nerf, nerf, nerf. I don't get it. Why, why is that text there? I don't know. All right, let's move it like three and then down two i guess three two is that good i don't even know i'm gonna i'm gonna move it to the right one more time okay that, that that's good that's good that's good this like double click here also kind of blows i feel like i could get away with just moving the spikes like down and like you wouldn't be able to see them still yeah the black spike hitbox isn't getting in the way anyway I mean, now, now we're talking yeah i think i think we're talking now the thing is i might not be the best guy to do this because i'm consistent at a lot of things that just are bad i guess that just proves that if it gets consistent why should why should i change it you know what i mean this release is really hard i might want to nerf this actually let's just move these spikes in like that i think that's a good strat yeah all right and then this click i'm definitely i'm nerfing this so it's it's at negative five right now so let's move it down to negative seven let's let's see how that looks it looks like that. Is that too much? All right, you know what? We'll leave it. I don't know how many like steps one unit equal to <laughs> on the move trigger thing. Like, how am I supposed to know? I'm just moving this saw so it doesn't like interfere with this moving down now. All right, here we go with this obvious change. Just get the fuck. Just get rid of that. What? Why is that there? I no one knows why that's there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to make this portal visible, or at least make have an indicator that it's fucking there. You know what I mean? There we go. Just like that. And then there's this one here. We're gonna we're gonna do the same thing. There you go. Now you can see it. I feel like that's a good change now. This portal, I don't really think. It helps to make it visible. I'm just gonna leave it. And if I was balancing, I'd make this part harder, but we're not fucking balancing. Is this 60 hertz bug fix on this version? Oh no, I gotta fix the bug. Guys, we're enhancing, we're fixing bugs. There's a 60 FPS bug on here that just slides you down. <laughs> And then that's it. Now we're done. And now it works on 60. Now people can beat it on 60 if you want. Moving on to this part. Pretty straightforward. I don't really think I need to change much. 
Oh, I think I know what I'm gonna change, guys. People, I don't even know what to say about this. This click is an abomination. Bam. Now that should be a, a more fair gap. And then now we gotta fix up this fucking whatever was going on with this black orb. I made it in my version where you can just hold here. There's no reason why you should have to do like some random double click that like doesn't work sometimes. I don't even remember what I did in my version, but I'm just gonna try to, I'm just gonna move a bunch of shit because it's literally just a hold, so it doesn't really matter. I think I'm doing a good deed here. Like, I'm hoping you're able to hold here now. I'm not really sure. So I think that brings us to river because honestly, I'm not gonna change anything in this ball let's get it going yo do you guys really expect me to change anything in river let's just skip past it no i'm kidding i'm gonna change the beginning clicks here first of all this is like random bush sticking out here let's just remove it fuck that i feel like i just want to move this entire structure up this whole club step monster river monster let's move it up like like one and a half i think two clicks here is a half of the regular step i don't i don't fucking know is that good are we chilling all right that's good that's good that's good i think we're gonna nerf this click here i'm not gonna lie i guess we'll go like one and a half again all right one and a half again and i think that's it forever to be honest with you guys uh oh i think there's one more thing i want to do actually all right i definitely want to do something about this weird transition into the mini again in my doggy nerf version i'm gonna move this mini portal down here so it's like a clean transition does th does that make sense to you guys i don't remember i think i put a saw here all right we're grabbing that we're gonna scale it down just like that now we're talking yeah that's exactly what i did all right random bush sticking out just get rid of it where you at bam and then everything else in river should be fine okay moving on to iris oh wow wow the worst click we're at all right so the worst click in the level i think we're gonna nerf there's a fixed hitbox here for no reason just just get rid of it like why are you there any fixed hitbox i'm just getting rid of immediately all right so this should be a doozy <laughs> i think we're gonna move this up 8 10 that's an easy one right all right instead of moving it down negative 10 let's move it down negative 7 three whole numbers this wave is fine but then like just, it's kind of awkward going into this so i think i'm just gonna move up this spike a lot actually it, it's just less awkward trust me i've been playing this level for a while i know you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make these portals visible also it kind of looks a little bit ugly but who really gives a fuck i also want to kind of just fuck off these spikes so you can't like randomly hit them right, so i'm just gonna move these like down maybe, maybe just get rid of that one <laughs> move this one up this saw down all right perfect so now another thing and you can hit this spike when you're in this ship if you go like a little bit low honestly just get just get rid of it just, just fuck it off okay straight fly you guys might be saying to yourselves no changes here right it's a straight fly well you're wrong because if you check out these hit boxes okay it's, it's hard to see but see how some of these go above the uh maximum height of the straight fly spike so there are some obstacles you kind of it's not technically completely a straight line so i'm gonna fix that up we're gonna move this down so i don't have to really do all these stupid maneuvers this mini spike's an issue we'll move that everything else seems fine all right and now i think we're good there we go. We're almost at Cuber here. We're almost at Cuber. Uh, there's one thing though. I, I think when you go too far down here, you can hit the wave portal and still die to like this spike, which is a little dumb. Yeah, we'll just move it over to the right like this. And I think that's good. We're at Cuber now. We are at the last wave, yo. This first transition click is actually pretty hard. In my version, I actually see how this kind of comes off the ground i moved the whole structure a block down so it connected with the ground so it made it like less confusing to do the click you know what i mean actually you know what i'll do to kind of emulate that idea in a less uh nerfy way i'll i'll just extend the structure oh my god i gotta place all these stupid fucking blocks all right so now yeah, and now, now it extends to that so i think that's good i also want to move up this entire structure so 219 moving up let's just do negative i don't know negative negative nine doesn't really it's not that bad all right there we go now i never like this transition thing it kind of i don't i don't like when like creators do this with their shit where they make like invisible blocks to fix the transition it's just a pet peeve of mine when creators do this just make the transition correct itself automatically by using invisible blocks it feels lazy it feels unnatural and it doesn't look good so i wouldn't do it in my level personally but it doesn't make the level any better if i like just made it a regular transition you should fix the click into the transition if anything but yeah let's just leave it like that uh this fixed hitbox is here and i promise you guys i would remove fixed hitboxes but i'm not gonna keep it a nerf i'm gonna actually move the structure right so four and a half steps up i don't know how many that is translates into fucking move trigger numbers we'll find 230 and we'll just test it out let's move it up uh 12 oh my god that's those are some big ass steps for just one number bro one unit yo 13 okay 13 looks just right all right 13 it is people and now we'll do the same thing for the top one that looks impossible though what the fuck i guess it's free i, I don't know i guess it's free I all right moving on this is random spike here just just why but like i i i don't know why i don't really like this transition into this wave to be honest with you i think i might just get rid of this fucking like orb why is this here why is this orb here i think i'm just gonna make this orb just the wave portal i'm really getting into it right now i'm really getting into these changes right now i think i'm all that with these changes i'm, I'm serious all right we'll do this just rotate it like now it just becomes a wave is that weird 
That's better, yo. I'm not even gonna lie. That's way better. I'm proud of myself for that one. Okay, this wave obviously is impossible. So what, what are we gonna do? I, I, what are we doing? Okay, so this structure is 231. I think I'm just gonna move it down and then call it a day. It kind of fixes up all the clicks I'm looking at. The units here seem very large. So I'm gonna go 12 or 11. That's a lot. Like, let, let's go 11. Okay, that, I think that's fine. Whatever, I don't know. Let's just leave it at that. The click in here is impossible, so I'm gonna nerf this. It goes negative nine. That seems like that was nerfed in the real version, but I'm gonna nerf it even more. We're gonna go negative eight. Uh, I think that's really all I need to do about that part. Okay, and then the last click is actually kind of difficult, right? Not really. I'll be a nice guy though and nerf it anyway. <laughs> we'll go. We'll go nine. Uh, I'm gonna do some weird thing that you guys aren't gonna understand, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these two spikes and just swap them like straight up like that. I want to allow you to hold up here for longer and then start clicking later. It just makes it better, right? You know what I mean? And easier. So let's be real. All right, very easy fix here. We'll discuss 86 later. Right now, what in the world is this? Tell me right now what in the world this is. Why do you have to do this? I'm gonna not make you hit some random D blocks. Actually, what, what are you? What are you doing? What do you want? Steps now? We're walking downstairs? Why? Why is the way of walking downstairs I, what i really want to do is just move the ground spikes all right and just move it one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten. That's it. That's all I needed to do, right? Easy breezy. All right, now we're gonna work on the PD6 click, which is yeah, complete dog shit. Obviously, we're gonna nerf that. So these blocks move down. 899 moves down. Yeah, slow your roll. I'm gonna have it slow its roll and go negative eight instead of negative ten. Is that better? Sure. And then okay, so this straight fly is just feels so awkward to me. It's not straight fly. It's, it's silent club step diagonal flying. I have a very simple solution to this. See the hide and show triggers the leap. I feel like that makes it about 50 times better. Don't even have to nerf it or anything. Do I have to nerf this ending? Probably. I think the, I'm only going to nerf the first three clicks. All right, first click, move that in, move that in, bam. Do the same thing here. Bam, bam. Much better. This click, all right, we're going to move this thing like up like two. I don't know. All right, I think that's all I need to do. Let's just check out all our changes now. All right, no changes yet. Our first change coming up. Wow, beautiful. This level's already way better. I mean, I'm really doing a good job. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's, that's better. I think I still want to nerf the fucking triple spike though with blows. Oh yeah, what a good first wave. That actually was good though. Oh, that too, bro. Let's go. Oh, wait, I gotta, I gotta figure out if I can hold still. Okay, you can't hold if you click it late. You gotta click it earlier. But then you can hold. All right, got it. Oh, wow. Rivers. I mean, it was already free. It's even freer now. Uh, okay. You know what's weird? This second gap is tighter than the first one. You know how this whole thing is like symmetrical? This gap is a lot tighter than this is. I might have to nerf it. Do I though? The 60 change is very good. I, I like that. And then this wave click is really just a funny change. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh my god. Free? I made it free. Wait. Okay. I think I need to go back in the editor and fix some of this. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it's a beauty. That's my favorite part. Pretty good, yo. I did pretty well. Alright, this click here is like free now. I, I think 893. I think you're going back to negative 8 instead of negative 7. I was thinking about nerfing this wave. I don't know. Alright, this structure, I'm gonna move up. River's good now, I think. I think I'm gonna nerf this triple spike, actually. I've decided. We're just one. Just like that. Perfect. Why is it so beautiful, guys? Please let me know right now. <laughs> this click still blows, bro. The 93 click, I gotta do something about it, I feel like. I mean, I, I could just move this spike in. I feel like that's lame, but gotta do what I gotta do, you know what I mean? Oh, about a million times better. Okay, I think this swap change is dumb. Uh, you know what, I'll say it. But I was onto something, though. I was onto something. Uh, I'll do something about it, though. Like, I'll uh, move this spike in or something. I'll do that. How about that? I might want to nerf the last click a little bit because when you jump here, you have an, a, a we very weird amount of frames of just staying on the ground until you have to click again. And it's pretty awkward. There's really nothing you can do besides just nerf it. Like, I could just do that. That's really the only thing I can do. Leave it at that. All right. Yeah. Uh, that wave. I didn't die to it a third time, but you know what we're going to do? Negative 10, negative 9. I might need to nerf the first wave a little bit. All right. This spike in one two one two this spike one two one two now we're talking i'm liking it guys i want to nerf one thing in the pre-drop it's in that gray part here this click i still don't like it I don't, I don't like it to be honest even though i'm a little bit used to it i want you to be able to hold like that but you can't most of the time so i think moving this up would help all right that should be good that's all i wanted let's get to verifying now Oh my god, really? Alright, we gotta fix that up. I don't, I don't even think we could do that. I mean, I guess we can actually. I'm stupid, yeah. That looks cheap as fuck, though. <laughs> I'm not even on the block. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. That looks so dumb. Alright, whatever, yeah. I don't really like playing this level from zero, but gotta do what I gotta do. 
No, why? Dude, I literally clicked like last frame. Although I almost think making you click later there is worse than making you click earlier. So I might switch that back to what my original plan was and it was just to like add more D blocks. Well, why do I keep- I keep dying here. It's the freest spike ever. I might nerf this 6% click, by the way. Bruh. Are you serious? <laughs> Something's getting nerfed in this fucking pre-drop. I feel like I'll nerf a few things, just like slightly. I'll move that in a little bit. Okay, this thing, I don't even know. Like, maybe I'll just 27. I'll just keep that up. So I'll move 27 up, like, one. We're gonna put a bunch of blocks here, and then we're gonna de-block them all. And now we have that. It's a bit goofy, unfortunately. Like, it's not very intuitive. So now I have this. I think that's, that's better. Bro, oh, are you kidding? God, I'm trying to get off. I'm trying to get off the computer. Why do you gotta delay me like that? Let's end it off there. I got 91. But yeah, that, that was the introduction to the to this new series. A lot of plans for this series in the future. I've had this idea for over a year now. I tried to record two of these. One not with Slaughterhouse and one with Slaughterhouse. And then they never ended up getting released. Hope you guys enjoyed the video for the last Doggy December video. I hope you guys enjoyed Doggy December. Happy New Year. I don't know what's in the future for me in 2023. Well, I, I mean, I know what's in the future for me in 2023. 23. Something big is coming up. You guys can play this version. It's on the servers right now. The ID will be in the description. Uh, maybe in the future, I'll try to make some more organized video. This is kind of just quick recording, did whatever here, but maybe I'll get the opinions of, of the other victors. Maybe I'll make it a bigger thing. But yeah, just thought I'd introduce the series with this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys next year. Goodbye.